heard of the term keeping up with the Joneses? Well, today we're going to talk about that because keeping up with the Joneses, what exactly does that even mean? Well, keeping up with the Joneses is when you try to copy and do what other people are doing, even if it doesn't fit your lifestyle. So as you grow older, as you start to see more things that are happening, people see shiny objects and they want to be a part of it. They want to get to have what other people are having. So basically keeping up with the Joneses is trying to get what other people have, even when you don't have it. So I see a lot of people out there trying to keep up with the Joneses today in this day and age and sometimes keeping up with the joneses will actually cost you so is keeping up with the joneses worth it your last name is not jones you don't need to keep up with the joneses i want to tell you why because as i've been doing more studying and researching and understanding financially i learned that people that actually have the money have the wealth, have the riches, are not loud. Wealth is not loud. So a lot of the Joneses are people who are loud and want you to see and make it seem like they have even when they don't have. So then there goes someone like you who's trying to keep up with the Joneses, not even realizing that the Joneses don't even have it. The Joneses don't even have what you think that they have. So you are going into a budget, living above your means, trying to keep up with the Joneses when basically the Joneses could be in debt up to their ears. And so you don't know that because you just see some flashy items or some things that happen, but you don't know that the Joneses are in debt and the Joneses have not been actually able to afford those things that they have. So you have to understand it's better for you to understand and live within your means. Living within your means does not mean that you have to be, you know, you have to basically deprive yourself. It doesn't mean that you have to deprive yourself, but it means that you need to look at your situation and live according to your situation because everybody's situation is different. So the Joneses are most likely in debt and you don't know that because you just see these items. The Joneses are not living within their means. The Joneses are spending way more than they have. The Joneses are showing off because they want to be the first one or seem to be the best on the block and seem to be the best with these things. And basically what that really is, is spending money that you don't have. You don't want to spend money that you don't have because it puts you in a predicament for future financial obligation. So you are in debt. You are going to go in debt trying to be like the Joneses because the Joneses really are spending money that they don't have. So as I said, wealth is quiet. Wealth whispers. I was looking and, and researching and a lot of the wealthy people, they don't mind driving a modest car. They don't mind wearing modest clothing if they have to because they don't want to waste their energy, time, and money on things that are worthless. So yes, they will look nice, have quality things. The rich are more concerned with quality, not quantity. So your quality of life, your quality of items, your quality of living is more important. Your quality time is more important than keeping up with the Joneses. So you have to look at that because all it makes you seem when you go home behind closed doors, it brings out the insecurity that you have if you are someone who wants to keep up with the Joneses because it says that you are insecure. You're insecure with the things that you have and living within your means. So you must do what the Joneses are doing and spend money that you don't have, you know, because of your insecurity or your big ego. So your ego 
is wanting to compete with the Joneses. And you don't have to compete with the Joneses. The Joneses are, as I said, in debt, spending money that they don't have. And at this point, you're following the Joneses and it makes it seem that you're putting yourself into situations with your your future financial obligations. So keeping up with the Joneses, especially with inflation and this economy is not going to be feasible. If you look at the prices of things today, everyday items, clothing, food, everything is going up. So the ones that wanna keep up with the Joneses and are not really living within their means to actually build their finances, because when you are spending money you don't have, you can't build your financial backing. You can't build financially if you're spending money that you don't have. What you will do is buy the buy the house, buy the car, buy the big ticket items, go buy another car and do all these things, buy the expensive clothes, go take all the trips and then come back home insecure and not able to do things and set up things that you really have and deflate your bank account. So you don't want to keep up with the Joneses. So you have to understand, it's not about what you are looking like on the outside as far as what the the perception of what other people believe about you. You want to appear that you have things that you don't have. So what good is appearing to have things that you don't have if you really don't have it? So this is what the Joneses are doing. So don't try to keep up with the Joneses. Live within your means, budget, save, and be aware of things that are going on so you know when the best time to purchase your home. You know when the best time is to purchase your car. You know when is the best time to purchase items that you need or that you want. And you make a list and you have these things available for you so that you can understand what you need to do uniquely and not follow what someone else is doing who's just basically spending money that they don't have. So that's what uh, the Joneses are doing. So don't try to keep up with the Joneses. Not in this economy, not with inflation rates rising, not with debt the highest as it's ever been. We're going into the holiday season and there's gonna be some things that people are going to see. So make sure you are subscribed to my channel and I definitely will have lots of information for you moving forward, financial information, uh, lifestyle, and more so that you can understand, you know, what exactly is going on uh, financially with your credit, with uh, your business. And I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe.